PRI, Principles for Responsible Investment, we have some of the largest uh, US pension funds as signatories. So uh, there is a lot of responsible investment thinking and activity going on. So we have the largest Californian pension funds, the largest pension funds in New York, New York City and New York State, and a number of others around the country. But at the same time, it is true that there is a, a certain amount of uncertainty or even skepticism about the concept of responsible investment in the States. And I think uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding of the concept of fiduciary duty in the context of responsible investment. So fiduciary duty is a very important thing. Investors in every country, large mainstream institutional investors, have very clear legal duties and obligations, which mean they have to concentrate first and foremost on financial return. But the concept of responsible investment, as represented and embodied in the principles for responsible investment, is absolutely in that same context of fiduciary duty. And what PRI is saying, essentially as a, a world view, as it were, is that in order to be a successful long-term investment institution, like uh, a pension fund, you need to understand the factors that are going to affect the value and performance of your investments in the long term. And that means that it is absolutely relevant to your fiduciary duty to be very interested indeed in factors like climate change or the social consequences of globalization uh, and corporate governance. And indeed the, the long term uh, functioning and health and stability of financial markets themselves. And all these things are embraced by the concept of responsible investment. But there seems to be a different perspective in the United States and in Europe. Can you tell me something about that? I think terminology is important. So in Europe, the word sustainability is used very widely and people take it for granted that it's a, a valid concept. Um, in the US, the language is slightly different. Um, but in the wake, in the aftermath of the financial crisis, for example, American investors, quite understandably and quite properly, have been hugely focused on the stability and the functioning of financial markets and the protection of their interests as investors in those markets. And that's all about governance. That's the G of ESG, environmental, social and governance issues, which is what responsible investment is about. So there are, I think, a lot of points of contact, a lot of commonalities between the, the concept of responsible investment and the way that uh, United States investors think um, but we just need to find the right language and we need to dispel some of the myths about um, what are seen as conflicts or inconsistencies between responsible investment and fiduciary duty. A couple of hundred years there's been a certain amount of friendly misunderstanding between Europe and the US but fundamentally uh, institutions like PRI signatories have the same interests, whether they are in the States or in Europe or in Japan or in South Africa or in Brazil, anywhere in the world. So if you are a, a long-term investment institution uh, which exists to make investments, to generate financial return, to provide financial security for people in their old age, you need to be able to understand the forces that are going to shape the markets for decades to come. You need to understand that you have a direct interest in the health of the financial markets on which you depend. And those interests unite and bind long-term investment institutions right around the world, and those are the people that PRI works with.